Hello friend. So in this video we will see what is protocol in computer network. Protocol is a very frequently uh, used term in computer network. That means a kind of rule. Protocol is always required whenever the two entities communicate with each other. And it becomes more important when these entities are existing at a distant places. We must understand that in the computer networks, we are going through indirect communication. Direct communications are communications where the person are talking face to face. And in this case, the communications are quite easy. Means you can express the things or you can deliver the message quite easily in compared to the communication which is happening indirectly. So in the computer networks where the machines are connected with each other, it's an indirect communication and there is a need of a defined set of protocol so that the communications can be handled in a secure and reliable manner. To understand this scenario, if I want to send a letter to one of my friend who is living in another city, then I will be following a protocol to send a letter to him. The protocol defined is, I need to write a letter and then I need to keep it inside the envelope. On the envelope, I need to write the sender address and the receiver address. And the address must be defined in a defined format. I must mention his name, his uh, uh, lane number, house number, his city, the pin code. Now this is something which is a protocol. If I follow all the things that is defined to send a letter, then only I will be able to communicate my message. I will be able to send my letter. Similarly, in the computer networks, because the communications are happening indirectly, there is an urgent need of protocol or a kind of rule which must be agreed by both the parties so that the communications or the message can be delivered or exchanged between the two machines. So you can see here that uh, protocol is something that determines what is to be communicated, how to be communicated and when is to be communicated. So these are the three key terms which is actually governed by the protocol and the key elements of the protocols are syntax, semantic and timing, timings and we will see what does it mean. So if you look to the elements of protocol, the first element is syntax. Syntax is a kind of, it's a rule or a format. So it defines the structure or a format of data. So when you send some data from one machine to another machine, we need to first agree upon the syntax, the format on which, uh, means uh, through which the data can be delivered. It indicates how to read the bits field. Now, what does it mean? It means if I want to send some data and that is to be transferred in the form of bits, now how these bits are to be represented? I may say that when I send the data, the first four bits is actually a kind of address, sender address. The other four bits is for the used for uh, the uh, uh, receiver address. The another four bits can be used for a kind of some checksum bits which is used for checking the, the contents of my data. Similarly, I need to come up or fix up some format that how I'm going to send my data. This is called syntax. The syntax must be agreed upon. So all the protocols that works on the TCP IP, they have a defined syntax through which the data is delivered. Then the semantic. Semantic is the meaning of the bits knows which field defines what action. Semantic means what action has to be taken out of the given uh, bits. What is the meaning contained in the bit? What does it mean? It means as let's say have I, we have uh, agreed upon the rule that the first four bits in the message will be the sender address and the next four bits will be the first four bits will be the sender address the next four bits will be the receiver address, then the other four bits will be some, uh, some checksum bits and then your data. This is what we have agreed upon that how we are going to send the bits in our data. Now, again, 
semantic means how these bits can be interpreted this is a sender address then the sender address is, is a logical address sender logical address or a sender physical address and how these bits has to be consumed and what action should be taken this is the meaning of semantic then the timing timing is another important element of protocol that tells us that what data should be sent and how much data has to be sent and what is the speed at which the data has to be sent so that there will be no loss of data when we when you look at to the uh, uh, means a kind of protocols of the tcp ip you can see that the protocol have a control flow or error flow mechanism that basically deals that how much data has to be delivered so that it cannot be lost in between you may consider a scenario where a sender is sending a huge amount of data to the receiver but the receiver is not able to accept or to consume all the data then what will happen in that case the data will be lost so it is defined by the protocol it they must have to agree on that what is their capacity what capacity of the receiver so that the sender can send the data accordingly so protocol is a very important concept in computer network and uh, this governs how the element to be sent what the element to be sent and when it is to be delivered so i hope that you have understood the meaning of the protocol and keep uh, watching more videos on computer networks thank you